Thank you for listening to the Data is My Science podcast, the show that makes data your passion. With your host, Dapper Data. What's up, what's up, what's up, y'all? You're listening to the Data is My Science podcast, the show that makes data your passion. This is your host, your boy, Dapper Data. That's right, man. You know, I'm back again. Uh, Thank you for tuning in this time for this episode. So this is the New Year episode, okay? And I know we have a lot of New Year's resolutions going on in here for 2021, especially because we thought, man, 2020 was terrible, right? You had COVID, you had... Uh, you had racism going on, you had, um, you know, you just had so much, right? A lot of deaths, a lot of people going to the ICU, uh, just a lot of issues going on, right? Staying in house for all my extroverts out there, including myself, because, because man, I mean, I hate it being in the house, right? You can ask anybody. I like to travel. I like to get about the house. I like to go have a good time. I like to uh, be a little bit more relaxed. And right now with me doing things like my PhD, having school in place, all that stuff, it's been really, really, really stressful uh, being in the house. So um, shout out to all my extroverts out there. Uh, But yeah, so it's a new year, right? We're talking about 2021, right? And um, uh, along with the new year, right? Uh, When you have new years, uh, it 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 also brings New Year's resolutions, right? Everybody wants to have some type of goal in place for the New Year's and uh, for the New Year, and and that's and that's you know that's that's just human nature, right? You know, it's a new beginning. It's like, hey, you know, I messed up in 2020 or whatever the year was before. They're saying this year is going to be different. I'm changing things, right? I have a lot of goals on my list. Um, I've even done things like a vision board at one point and my vision board, you know, would say, this is what I'm going to get the next year, man. It actually worked for me. Uh, for those of you who do vision boards or who, who are thinking about doing it. Um, I remember the, the one time I did a vision board, I said, I'm working from home and I had put a picture of, you know, where, where work was and it was like home. And, and I had all these visuals that just showed that's what I'm doing, right? Or something closer to me, right? And the closest thing I wanted was home because I was going through so much with traveling about an hour uh, without traffic. And uh, it was times where it was like, man, three hours where it would take, it would take three hours for me to come home because it snowed or something like that, or because there was an accident and everything. So people who know uh, how D.C., Maryland, Virginia is uh, coming from Virginia to Maryland or going from Maryland to Virginia, depending on what time you're doing it. Traffic could be real ugly for you. But uh, anyway, so uh, I have a lot of data, right, that I have collected uh, prior to this podcast, just to just so we can talk a little bit about it, because, you know, we have to be real with our, we have to be realistic with ourselves, right? I mean, when we sit there and we create these New Year's resolutions, right, and and now is the best time to really be real, okay, because 2020, right, was intense, uh, um, for lack of a better word. And so because it was so intense, right, the, the, the thing that we got to keep in mind is that 2021, we want to actually hit these goals that we're setting this year. You know, so that's something that's a mindset thing. We got to come in with a different mindset, a focused mindset this year. That's what we want to do. Right. So. uh, um, uh, But but I want to throw some data out there. Right. Just so you know. Right. If you don't do your research, do your research. I always tell people, do your research. Don't just listen to me. Don't just listen to, you know, other people out there. You also do your research uh, on your own. But just so you know, um, we uh, that. You know, so so I'll have the data, I'll have the facts, right, so that we can have something to support, you know, our decisions, right? And 2020 uh, will show will show a lot of the data that shows well, well, hey, you know, we don't want to make the same mistake, okay? So just to start off, right? An estimated 188.9 million adult Americans say they're determined to learn something new, okay, for 2021. Right, they're they're determined to make some type of lifestyle change 
or set some type of personal goal or something like that for 2021, that is a 15 or 20 or so percent increase from 2020. Okay. Now, me personally, when I think about New Year's resolution goals, I like to think about, well, you know, I don't want to look at it as I'm doing it every 20, I mean, every year, right? A new goal, right? Um, I try to set goals throughout the year um, and I try to set reasonable goals, right? So I make sure that I'm in that that group that actually hit their goal by the end of the year. Um, I'm a human, so it has been times where, shoot, man, there's been times where I say, look, I'm going to hit this goal and at the end of the year, I ain't hit that giant. I ain't hit that goal. You know, I was looking ugly just like everybody else. So, uh, but I'm trying to get better at that, okay? So here's some more stats, right? So out of those 2020 goals, okay, coming into 2021, here are the top category of goals, okay? And when I put these out there, okay, just think about, just think about it. Is one of these categories yours? I'm pretty sure it is because it's in my, um, so one is health, right? They want to be healthier. They want to exercise more, okay? But when they're doing this, right, are they being, putting it at an expectation where they can stay consistent throughout an entire year? I don't know, Okay. Uh, Same thing with self-improvement. That's another goal that people are having for 2021. That's a dope goal, okay? I'm always obsessed with growth. I'm always obsessed with getting better. And so with that being said, you know, that's a goal of mine every year, every day, shoot. Um, Money, okay? Money's so general. Uh, I I would say, you know, when you look at the the data and it says money is one of those goals, right? What does that mean? Do I want to make, I met a guy one day, right? That said he wanted to save a hundred thousand or save six figures or seven figures for that year. I'm like, shoot, he talking about saving, just saving it alone. You know, he ain't talking about making it. He said saving seven figures. So, you know, because he said that, you know, then, then that's something that we got to keep in mind for sure. So another, another one is love. Okay. Love is in the air. Love. So many things I got. Every time I hear the word love, I think about the music Soul Child song. So, you know, don't pay me no mind. But uh, but love, right? So love is the it's the it's actually tied with the next one um as the least of uh people's goals for 2021 because people are really like, let me focus on myself first before I go ahead and jump out there and try to fall in love, right? Um and so, you know, for twenty for twenty twenty one, okay, one of the goals is love, and and I think you got to be you know specific about that as well. Be intentional, okay, about that. You know, if you're doing a vision board, go ahead and talk something out there like a heart. Talk something like you want to find somebody. You know, what does love mean to you? Really figure that out. You know, do you know yourself? All that good stuff. You know, um, another one is career, right? So that's tied with love. Career and love are tied together. And that's uh, tied for being what uh, what is really the the lowest um, of goals for 2021. Um, and also looking back at 2020, I think that they're comparing stats between 2021 and 2020 about the same. Uh, but but career, right? Career needs to be a little bit more specific too and intentional. Okay, depending on what stage you are in your life, right? You know, you're trying to find a new career. Maybe it's getting setting you up for retirement. Uh, you're trying to find a new career that's setting you up for uh, for what kind of uh, what do you want to do uh, that will help you improve or better yourself, you know, with your your, your business, you know, whatever it is. Maybe you want that type of focus. Uh, maybe you want a career just to start out. Maybe you're coming straight out of college and you're like, look, I just want an entry level job or or that I that I want. Right. Uh, maybe I want an entry level career, you know, for myself, you know, shoot my son just said that I want to work for Roblox. That's what he told me, right? So he's setting that goal way, way ahead of time, you know, and uh, I'm proud of him for thinking about those things ahead of time. I was like, great, man, you know, um, you know, if that's something you want to do, go for it, right? Um, and lastly, we had a group of people, okay, that really, this came in fourth place. Uh, no, actually, there's one more. Um, sorry, there's there's family. Family is very important to me, so um, I don't even set that as a goal because I'm always around family. But it's always it always can get better, right? You know, uh, especially this year, 
right? Family has gone up the charts this year from 2020 to 2021. And you think about it, right? Because COVID is really taking people out, right? There's a lot of deaths going on this year, probably the most in a long, long time, right? Um, and it's just happened so fast, right? So you want to cherish the moments with people that are closest to you and dearest to you and your loved ones. Um, but yeah, so then you have the last, right? The last one that I want to point out is the don't have one goal. Okay. And there's people who have, who do not have a goal. And to me, I think that is okay. Um, I've gone in without a goal plenty of times, right? It's just awareness, right? Aware that you don't have a goal. But if you don't have a goal and you don't want a goal, um, you know, that might be something that you need to really check yourself on because you always should have a goal in life to do something, right? Whether it's to get better, be a better father, be a better parent, be a better um, uh, teacher, you know, uh, connect with more people, um, you know, uh, get, get, get out there, right? For the introverts, they want to get out there more. For the extroverts, maybe they want to be able to sit in the house more. Maybe I want to chill out on drinking, right? Maybe I want to chill out on uh, smoking, right? For the people out there who are doing the, uh, the ganja, uh, so, so you have all those type of, I, all those different goals, right? But you definitely want to have, have something, right? That keeps you grounded throughout the year. Something that, that keeps you to aim for something throughout the year. So, so as I continue, okay, I do want to point out now some of the new year resolution goals based off of genders and generation. Okay. They broke down. They said, well, and it, and this is typical, okay? When you're looking at data, you're looking at data science, you're looking at analyzing data, you, you like to go by demographics a lot. And the reason why people do that is because you get a substantial amount of information when you start to analyze the, the differences in demographics, right? Whether it's gender, whether it's uh, generational, I mean, sorry, generation is really not demographics, but uh, whether it's by city, state, countries, um, uh, race, ethnicity, right? So those type of things are really important because you start to you start to figure things out, right? That's how they said. Well, during COVID times, they felt that uh, that COVID was attacking uh, more Black people. Okay, uh, same thing with uh, other times where they say, "Hey, look, you know, you uh, where they where they where they may stereotype things as well. They're they're doing it based off of demographics." So from a gender standpoint, okay, and, and New Year's resolutions for stats for 2020 going into 2021 goals, um, there was a survey that was put out, right? So these people took a survey. I think it was about uh, about 5,000 or so people, um, but the survey was pretty close. So it was, from a gender standpoint, it was about 73.76% um, men and about 74.26% uh, women who actually had a New Year's resolution plan that year, okay? So that means they eliminated the people who said, I don't even have a goal, I don't have a plan. But within that mix, these are the people that said, okay, I have a plan, I have a goal uh, for 2021, okay? And and as, as, you can, um, as you can see, or I don't know if I mentioned this before, the highest goal that people had was health. And I'm, I bet it's probably because of COVID, right? If I came out of 2021, if I came out of 2020 and I made it, I would tell you one thing. My biggest goal next year is to be healthy as crap. Okay. Uh, that doesn't sound right. Healthy as crap. Anyway, so uh, you want to be healthy, right? You want to make sure that you are setting yourself up for success going forward the rest of your life. So I'm drinking a gallon of water a day. Well, I'm sitting here taking my vitamin C, vitamin E, D, D, G, F, all the alphabets. Okay. Uh, if you can, I'm, I'm sitting here doing all kinds of stuff that I didn't do last year to make sure I'm healthy, right? You know, I'm jogging if I can. I might jog in the winter when it's zero degrees. I don't care. Get my lungs right, okay? Because COVID said it's taking out the lungs. So, you know, getting healthy is key, and that's the highest goal that they had. 43% of uh, guys and 47% of, of women said that uh, that the COVID, that, that because of COVID, um, um, they were they were trying to get healthier this year, uh, so so yeah, that's not too shocking, right? Because of the way the world went last year in 2020, uh, so I'm definitely on board with that. Now, the crazy thing to me was the least targeted thing was career, right? It was with something else earlier that I had mentioned with love, uh, but career 
right, to me is and is important, right? You have, you're, you're making money, right? Not unless you're trying to be an entrepreneur, right? Well, that's still a career for you. Um, but, but yeah, so the career was the least important thing, you know, and maybe they're starting to shift, right? Maybe the, the goal of being healthy and, and, and family is, is something that outweighs it, you know, uh, maybe you all can give your opinion, definitely give your opinion in my YouTube channel or, uh, you know, anywhere that I'm, um, that I'm at, just shoot me a DM or something on, on IG. Uh, but yeah, so, and then, you know, you have like 40% of women lean more towards self-improvement while 32% uh, um, of the women plan to uh, set a money related goal. So that's something to really stick in our heads now as well, right? Self-improvement is key. Money related, you're trying to budget, maybe you're trying to save, whatever it is, that's all important as well. Um, so, so yeah, so now let's go to the generations, right? You got your millennials, you got, you got your Gen Z, you got your Gen X, you got your baby boomers, you got your silent gen, okay? I only really know about the millennials and the, uh, and the baby boomers. Um, I, I, I don't know if I know the age ranges for the, for the other ones, but, but yeah, so they did studies on that. And what you would see is 88%, um, and I'm rounding up or down depending on the numbers. So it's not really 88%, it's like 88.4, right? And I round to 88, or if it was 88.6, I round to, uh, to, to 90, I mean to 89%. So it says 88% uh, representing um, about 500, I mean 58.7 million millennials, right? Say that they'll make a New Year's resolution for 2021. That's great. Clap it up for y'all, okay? You know, I'm a millennial, I think, if I look at the category. Uh, we said, hey, we're going to make this resolution. 2021 is going to be our year. We're going to do this, right? You know, so that's in that 30-year-old age range. I think that's like 19, 1981, 82, on up to like 1996. If you were born around that time, you are making those type of plans, all right? Um and even higher percentage for some of the uh, Gen Zers plan uh, for making resolution. I think that was 91%. Um, but the problem, right, is that you see a downfall in a lot of the other ones. Okay. So the baby boomers, um, the Xers, okay, uh, the other, the other uh, generation. So you see a lot of them. And what you're starting to see is that the resolutioners, the, the, the people are creating resolutions that actually falls as the ages are increasing. So as people are getting older, they're saying, hey, look, I don't have a goal. I don't have anything to work for, but I don't think that's true. All right. I think that that we have we as um, as a as a country, we as a world, we need to all have a goal. OK, no matter how old we are, okay, if it's a, if it's to save more right for my for my um, for my. Um, my grandkids that's a goal for me okay if i'm 80 years old and my goal is to eat better okay because i'm trying to make it to 81 that's a goal for me if uh if 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 um if i shoot if i i just saw a post the other day uh saying that it's never too late to basically earn a degree whatever it is you know so maybe shoot i've seen people that decide hey i'm gonna get my doctorate and i'm gonna get my, i'm gonna pass my P, my bachelor's degree whatever it is uh, I'm going to graduate high school, right? Because you have some of the older folks, you know, that didn't even graduate high school because they had to do stuff out there back in the day, right? And they're in their like 50s and stuff um, um, in the 1950s. And so maybe they're saying, hey, look, I want to graduate high school. You know, that's a goal, okay? They might let you slide and go ahead and get in there just, just by default, you know, and graduate because you might be 80 something, but that's fine. At least you did it, okay? You have something to achieve and something to uh, strive for. I think that's important. Uh, now I want to get into the excuses, okay? Uh, excuses are the tools of the incompetent. You use the bridges to nowhere, okay? And so you do not want to have excuses, right? Because you ain't making it nowhere if you got these excuses, okay? And and so for me, right, that's one of the things I'm trying to eliminate, right? Excuses, excuses, excuses. I do that with my kids. I do that with my uh, my family, right? We always talk about how we're just trying to get better, right? And that's one of the ways to get better is to try to eliminate so many excuses and really take ownership of what you got going on in your life, right? But let's talk about some of the excuses that people are having, 
okay, in this world, especially for the year 2021, we don't see it yet, but this is what was happening in 2020. And most people, right, both men and women, to all the generations of both men and women, were both saying that uh, the reason why they were not able to um, see their 2020 goals into 2021 um, and be successful with that is because they didn't have willpower. Okay, so look up. Let's look up the definition of right, willpower real quick because I want to use what West what, what Webster would use. Okay, it says willpower is control exerted to do something or restrain impulses. So control exerted to do something or restrain impulses. Okay. So when I think about willpower, I just think about discipline, right? No matter what it is, right? You want to be disciplined with uh, your actions of uh, uh, sexual encounters. You want to be disciplined with your uh, with your money. You want to be disciplined with your uh, with your family. You know, with your goals. You know, uh, whatever it is, you just want some discipline in your life, right? And they're saying that this is what's going on. Okay. The most common reason for um, uh, uh, of that, right, is, is, is gotten even worse, right, because of the fact of COVID. You know, let's be honest, right, COVID has definitely changed a lot of people who sit there who had the willpower, right, people like myself who are extroverts, like to get out there and stuff, right, and then you, 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 you shift, right, you're not able to use the energy that you want out there in the world, and so now you're inside, so what do you result to? You know, certain things that you probably shouldn't, right? Certain vices, right? Start to increase. So you got to get out of that, okay? Uh, from a gender standpoint, okay? There's a chunk of people, okay, who claim that they might be forgetful in the new year. So they say that in 2020, they say, hey, look, I'm about to do 100 push-ups every day all the way until the end of this year. Uh, and I'm about to do a budget. And I'm about to do all this. I'm about to do 5, 10, 12, 20 different things, okay? So when they have that, okay, cool. You got that going on. But is it real? Is it realistic? I don't. I don't think so, right? I think that's the problem that people run into. It's not realistic, and I think uh, that's why they forget because they're so focused maybe on one or two or three, but they got twenty of them, and you can't really handle all twenty, right? By the time the, the month six comes around, uh, July come around, June come around, you're like, man, I ain't even start on my uh, my my twentieth resolution. Shoot, let alone my fifth resolution, right? Because you got to be reasonable, right? Uh, and so, so another one, they said that uh, 8% of men and 11% of women uh, with resolutions say that they'll probably lose track and forget about their resolution over time. So that's the whole forgetful thing that we talked about, you know. But, but there's women that are more inclined to not having willpower men are more ready to blame a failed resolution on being lazy. We got to stop being lazy, fellas, okay? Being lazy in our relationship, being lazy in life, all right? You know, you wake up, you should have a purpose, okay? Whether it's to take care of your family, whether it's be a better dad, whatever it is. And so, you know, we got to stop those type of excuses. But those are some of the excuses that are going on, right? That's what the data is showing us. And, and, and then from a generation standpoint, let's break it down. Uh, what they're saying is that, from a generation standpoint, uh, it's lack of self-control, that's the blame, um, and also slipping their mind, like we talked about, uh, laziness and forgetfulness. So they're all in the same category of laziness and forgetfulness, and I'm not with it, okay? And if we break it down, you got the Gen Z people who have some excuses, right? About 3%. Millennials have the most, right? They're uh, what we're talking about, always forgetting. Okay, millennials are the ones who are saying they're always forgetting. 12% of those folks saying that Gen X is, is, is right there with 10% and the baby boomer is 11%. So the millennials, okay, if I look this up, right, the millennials, that's me, right, 1981 to 1996, okay? So those are the people that 23 to 38 years old uh, in 2019 is considered the millennials. And then the baby boomers, okay? The baby boomers, individual born in United States, United States between the mid nineteen forty six, mid nineteen forty six and mid nineteen sixty four. Okay, I'd say that's probably like my parents, something like that. And then 
uh, right after that, you must have the the Gen X, okay, and then you have the millennials. But and that range, right? The baby boomers, Gen X, millennials. A lot of them said, "Hey, you know, they forgot. They forgot, right?" To me, that means you're putting too much on your plate, okay? So let's end this. I want to end this with um, with the top five 2021 New Year's resolution goals. If you already have your goals, great. Some people don't even have them until about February time frame. That's what the studies show. About 50-something percent actually don't even have it until, don't even have a real goal, right? They're looking around, seeing what everybody else's goal is and things like that. And that's fine, right? You don't have to have a goal. Who says that your new year has to start January 1st, right? Don't go by society all the time. Just make sure you do what's right for you. But the top five 2021 New Year resolution resolutions are finding love, getting a new job, make new friends, travel more, save more, or get out of debt, right? Slash exercise more, lose weight. So those are around the same. That's why they put them next to each other. But uh, but yeah, yeah. So pick one of those if you want. Pick all five of them if you want. Five solid ones. I like to have about a good three. Okay. Uh, and mine this year has been more focused on my business with Dapper Data, uh, making sure that I'm able to make a certain amount of money with that. Um, uh, get my book out. That's all part of the focus of my business with Dapper Data. You know, build better relationships with people. Okay. I know that there was a lot of people lost in my family last year. A lot of people lost in in uh, relationships that I knew that was close to me. And so I want to make sure that I'm continuously building those, right, and and focusing on that. And I want I want financial freedom. You know, I want to be able to uh, be financially free one of these years, right? And so I have a goal, you know, years out to be financially free. And for me, what that means is like moving around uh, wherever I want, being able to travel and still do work at the same time where – you know, my money's working for me. I'm not working for the money and stuff. And so um, uh, I really want to be able to do something like that. Okay. Uh, and and as always, I like to end with my dope data uh, nugget of the day um, or of the podcast, as I would say. And, and for all you all that have resolutions, they're cool, right? They sound great. Uh, but the goal should be to complete them. That should be the goal. So if you want to be able to complete them, you have to be reasonable with yourself. And that's it. If you think you can focus on one goal and you know you will complete that one goal by the end of this year, then do that. Right? The data shows that we're kind of um, overwhelming ourselves, I believe. And I think that's the problem. That's why we say we can't finish a goal because we got about 10 of them. But if we, but if we only have one, that's fine. Right. At the end of the year, you can say, hey, look, I completed this one goal and you should be happy. And again, it doesn't matter if you have a goal that has um, it doesn't matter if you start your goal in February, March, April, June, July, August, September, whatever. I don't care. You know, so, um, yeah. But again, I want to thank you all for listening to the Data is My Science podcast. This is the show that makes data your passion. And I am your host, Dapper Data. Okay, so I do want to put this out there. Uh, I got my boy um, Alonzo Corbett, uh, aka Poncho. So this dude, phenomenal brother, right? He is. Uh, he has put out a brand. He has put out an app um, called Shiftbook. Definitely a dope app, right? For uh, for for um, for stylists to be able to, and service providers actually, not just stylists, but service providers to be able to. Um, to be able to host their company on there and be able to offer dope services uh, as they need their dope services. So if you're a tutor, you can offer that. If you are a, um, if you're a stylist, you can offer that on there, right? They have a lot of barbers and hairstylists on there. Uh, if you're, if you own your own cleaning company, right? Those are all real, real dope. Okay. And you can have a platform that you can host those on. Right. So he has that, but he also has something called manual shift brand. Okay. And it's product, right. Made for people like me, myself, people like us, right. That, uh, that need something that smells good, right. That's organic. Okay. Natural. And, uh, and that take care of your body. Right. So he has, 
uh, def- beer products for the men. Um, it's all for the men, uh, actually. So beer products for men, hair oil for the men. Uh, he has, um, he has, uh, what is it? Oh, um, shampoo, conditioner, and um, and body and body um, uh, soap as well. So, uh, but if you want to check him out, okay, I put. I, I put it in my uh, links in my bio. Uh, you you can you can access the link there. Um, it'll be manualshiftinc.com, but promo code is Dapper Data. So the link is in the bio. You click on the link, it directly takes you there. Um, and as always, you can follow me on at Mr. Dapper Data or any social media platform. That's Twitter, LinkedIn, uh, LinkedIn. You can find me my professional page. Um, yeah, I have a business page and I have my, my personal page. So business page is Bobby Roundtree. That's B-O-B-B-Y. Last name Roundtree. That's R-O-U-N-T-R-E-E. So follow me there. But also I have my business page, Dapper Data. You can find me there at Mr. Dapper Data um, on LinkedIn. Uh, on Twitter again, like I said, Instagram, Facebook, at Mr. Dapper Data. That's at M-R-D-A-P-P-E-R um, D-A-T-A. Uh, and and also, you'll find the link to my podcast there as well. You can also subscribe. Please subscribe to my podcast, The Data is My Science Podcast, and YouTube. Uh, my link is in my bio on my social media platform, so you can go there. If I get 100 subscribers, I can now change it to where it's just, uh, I can create my own link where it's uh, Dapper Data at the end, so that'll be easier for you all to find. But thank you all. Love you. Peace. Thank you for listening to the Data is My Science Podcast, the show that makes data your passion. With your host, Dapper Data.